hello friends and welcome back to another video this is for me being here again guys it's been such a hot minute it feels really really good to be able to sit in front of the camera again and talk to you guys in today's video we are going to be talking about how to come up with designs that are sure to attract good quality customers is one thing to attract people it's another thing to attract good quality set of people that would later become your clientele so if you'll be interested in hearing all that i have to share in today's tutorial please make sure to watch this video all the way through do not skip any part of the video so you don't get lost also remember to hit the subscribe button if you're yet to subscribe thank you so much for you guys that are already subscribed to the channel thank you for the love thank you for the support thank you for being here even though the consistency these days it's been something but thank you thank you thank you thank you please be sure to subscribe like this video share with a friend all right guys let's get straight into today's video let's go all right friends so in today's video i've divided the skills that are required when it comes to attracting good quality customers into two categories the first category is what i've called the hard skills while the second category is what i've called the soft skills for the hard skills they are typically technical quantifiable skills that are typically gotten from training schooling or work experience while the soft skills are skills that you don't necessarily have to learn you can learn them if you choose to and for me personally when it comes to my soft skills that i try to develop on i learn from seeing how some other people that i look up to do things and kind of emulate them while trying to grow those skills that i see in them in myself as well so for soft skills they're not necessarily things that you have to go to school or work to learn they kind of describe they're kind of absolutely abstracts first of all and they describe your work ethic and your interaction skills there are things that sometimes come to certain people naturally so for this video i'm going to start off with the hard skills for the hard skills i have a couple of them that i think are very very important when it comes to attracting good quality customers for me if you don't have some of these skills your, the quality of your work is just not going to give what it's supposed to give so the first thing that i have on my list here is fashion illustration skills when you guys take a look at some of all these big brands that we see doing fantastic work in today's world of fashion a lot of these creatives are very good when it comes to fashion illustration and fashion illustration is just your ability to first of all design or draw what it is they are trying to bring to life before actually going ahead to start the project of basically coming up with your designs a lot of times when you see people like vicky james i like to refer to vicky james if you are new here this page is a vicky james stan page okay we love her on here on the channel so when you see someone like vicky james of recent she has even started showing us a lot of times how she goes about doing the fashion illustration aspect of her designs before actually going ahead to sew to bead embellish and all of that okay so it's something that i think people that are trying to attract good quality clientele need to develop it's a skill that you need to develop if it means going to a school there are certain creatives in nigeria and i feel like if you are depending on where you're located right if there's something you're trying to learn you need to be open to doing your research and finding out who does this thing very well and who is a person that kind of has a setting where i can learn from so do your research right if you know that fashion illustration is something you want to learn feel free to go ahead and learn it and i think on platforms like udemy coursera and the rest if you go on there and even skillshare you should be able to find fashion illustration courses that will kind of help you especially if you are a beginner before you now start to move ahead to learn in a more advanced kind of way so fashion illustration is something you should absolutely look into i think i talked about it in a previous video talking about how when i was in fashion school i did a i think it was about two weeks or three weeks course on fashion illustration and i've seen a couple of comments on here people saying oh for me talk about fashion illustration that video is coming it might not necessarily be an advanced level kind of video but the basics that i learned in fashion school i'll be happy to share with you guys on here if it's something you really really want to see feel free to comment fashion illustration down in the comment section so i just see how much you guys want to learn it the second hard skill that i believe we need when it comes to attracting good quality customers is sewing neatly and with sewing neatly it's something that comes from practice for me personally you've heard me say it a lot of times on here that 
going to fashion school is something that i think is very very vital for people that are trying to get into fashion design in general i know some people talk about oh i was self-taught da, 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 da. but personally fashion school helps a lot in my opinion and when it comes to sewing neatly generally it comes from practice learning making mistakes and practicing even more rome they say was not built in a day okay so if you know that you're trying to attract good quality customers to your business sewing neatly is something that is non-negotiable you can't be trying to attract good quality customers and when you're sewing their outfits the end result is not neat is not put together that won't work another hard skill that we need to learn when it comes to attracting good quality customers is business planning and organization you're trying to attract a certain quality of people to your business you need to plan your business you need to make sure that your business is properly structured and organized and i don't think it's something that you kind of just that comes to people naturally when it comes to business planning and organization chances are you need to take some lessons learn from people attend certain courses and just invest in that aspect of you know your business in order to create something structured and fabulous you want your business to be such that even when you're not physically present the show is not stopping life happens things come up and you might need to go somewhere or do some other things you need to make your business so organize that even when you're not physically there the quality of staff that you have and people handling things in different aspects of your business are able to do things even in your absence the next hard skill that is required is pattern drafting and embellishment in 2024 if you're just making plain outfits except that is just your aesthetic that's the aesthetic of your brand but if you're trying to attract a certain type of clientele especially when it comes to making bridal outfits all these traditional bridal outfits bridal outfits in general wedding dresses party guest dresses party guest dresses in 2024 is not what it used to be in the early 2000s or 1990s okay things have changed a lot so pattern drafting is very important building and embellishment is very very important you don't necessarily have to be a professional bidder but you need to know the basics such that when you even hire people that are professional bidders you are able to kind of transfer what you have in your head to them let them understand what it is they are trying to come up with okay you should be able to okay say this is the type of bead that i want this is the type of panel that i want this is the kind of applique that i want on the outfit that i'm trying to make and with pattern drafting as well you need to be able to play around with fabric play around with the tools that you are working with to come up with peculiar things things that are peculiar to you nowadays we see a lot of big brands or strong brands okay that are doing very well when you see certain types of outfits you are able to point out that mm, i think it's this person that made it okay i feel like i've gotten to a place with vicky james in my journey of just watching her do things and just following her i can tell when i see a dress that was made by vicky james and it's not because there's anything it's just because she has created a certain type of quality when it comes to the kind of work that she does okay so pattern drafting embellishment and bidding are another set of hard skills that are important for people that are trying to attract good quality customers if you're tired of struggling and just dealing with people that are just not seeing your brand the way you see it for yourself now is the time to take some of these tips and begin to find ways to learn them inculcate them into your business and start to build on those skills the next hard skill that i have for us in today's video is draping i've talked about it in a different video draping is just your ability to manipulate fabric manipulate yeah fabric basically in such a way that it just sits a certain type of way and i think in a previous video where i talked about draping i showed us how there was a particular fabric that vicky just showed how she draped it on the body form and when it comes to things like creating your slash and spread designs and stuff like that draping is another skill that is very very important in creating all those very i put this a sample of the kind of designs that i'm talking about the designs that have like pleats and just they look a certain type of way draping is the key to making those types of outfits okay i'm going to put some samples on the screen for us for everything that i'm saying for those that require like screenshots and stuff i'll leave them on the screen for us the next skill that is required is branding okay and with branding i don't think branding is something that you can just do overnight it takes consistency to kind of create a brand for yourself when you think of people like vicky james 
Imagine by Bukola, Diola Sego. I feel like they've created a certain type of brand for themselves such that when you see certain things, you can just tell that they are the ones behind those types of things. One person that I feel like she has kind of done that for herself is Diola Sego. I don't think I can see an outfits made by Diola Sego, especially a traditional Ashoke outfits that she makes for customers. If I see a Diola Sego outfit, I can tell that she's the one. There's just something about her outfit designs that just stands out, okay? And with branding, like I said before, it's not something that is done overnight. You need to consistently show up a certain type of way such that people kind of associate that way of just doing things to you and what you stand for right so for vicky james as well we know that when it comes to making like elaborate party guest outfits bridal outfits with lots of blings lots of sparkles vicky is good at it corsets in general vicky has created a space for herself in that line so with branding depending on what you want your brand to be known for you need to consistently show up in that way such that when people see certain things they can just associate it with you that hmm, this thing was done by fumbi right so with branding patience consistency is a way to build a strong solid brand and it's also something you can learn if you have like someone that is you think has kind of cracked the code when it comes to branding and the person is offering a course learn i always talk about how money is what brings money okay spending money is what brings money a lot of time so if you're being stingy and saying oh i can figure it out by myself i can do it by myself chances are you might still be able to figure it out but it might take longer okay so i'm always open to learning things from people even if i have to pay if it's something that i really really want to learn i'm open to paying for it and learning it i'm kind of inculcating it into the aspects of my life or my business that i'm trying to improve on another hard skill that i have for us in today's video is social media management in 2024 if you are running a business if you are selling anything and you're not actively taking your social media seriously i don't know i don't know why like what could be the reason if you ha if you are in that kind of situation let me know what your reasons are down in the comment section with social media it's such a powerful tool especially if you are running a business in a situation where you're saying oh my gosh i'm doing all of this nobody's patronizing me i'm trying my best how about you try posting your stuff on social media the only reason why i've kind of chilled out when it comes to places like my tiktok and my instagram is because for those that don't know i moved to another country and i've not i'm not able to like do stuff for people or sell for people but 2022 2021 for me people know like every time i was posting my head pieces that i was making for people back when i was in nigeria anything i was selling basically i was posting on my instagram posting on my tiktok and i got quite a number of orders from those platforms right so if you don't know how to just manage social media or do social media in general as a business owner, if you know someone that is selling a course when it comes to social media management or just social media branding as a whole, buy from them and learn from them, okay? And for me with social media, I have not necessarily, I can't come here and say I've paid someone to teach me how to do social media. I just do, I kind of watch other people and do what they do. I know that like, a lot of people that do very well on social media people that show up aggressively on the platform right people that are doing very well on social media every single day whatever they are selling they are posting it they are talking about it on their stories on their reels every time they are showing it in people's face i found that with social media you need to be in people's faces for them to take note of you and when they need the service you are rendering you come to mind if you are posting once in a month and you are saying that you are selling something and people don't even know about it it's not going to kind of give the results that you are looking for right so you need to show up consistently show up with quality stuff as well don't be on social media saying that you're selling stuff and maybe the quality of your picture is not good the videos you're making are blurry the quality is not you know nice right so that's why if i was saying something about if you need to learn feel free to go learn and just take this thing seriously the final hard skill that i have for us is picture taking photography and video making if you're trying to and this is kind of tied to social media right if you're selling something you should be able to take pictures of those things and make videos of those things in such a way that when people see it it kind of appeals to them and they are eager to patronize you right you are selling a hairpin for example you need to be able to take a picture of that hairpin in a way that when people people that don't even like hairpins when they see that hairpin it will enter their eye and they want to buy right so picture taking 
videography you are selling something wear it on yourself and make videos and show yourself wearing it so people can kind of imagine what it will look like when they go ahead to patronize you or buy that thing from you so i hope all of these hard skills that i've listed out for us in this portion of the video kind of makes sense to us and we start to think of ways to pick them not copyright i don't know why i hate using the word copy but you kind of pick them and start to work on them the ones that need learning you go ahead to learn them and just do very well I'm going to move now to the soft skills and like I said before, soft skills are not things that you necessarily have to go to a structured environment to learn. They are things that come to certain people naturally but it helps a lot when trying to attract good quality customers to yourself. I've seen it work for a lot of other people and I've also seen it work for myself as well. The first soft skill that I have for us is charisma. Charisma in the sense that whatever it is that you are selling, whatever it is that you are trying to like, whatever um, vision it is they are trying to make people believe in as much as you believe you need to believe it yourself you that are the person that God has given that dream to you need to believe it you need to walk the path one person that kind of motivates me and inspires me when it comes to this is Vicky James Vicky James I don't know <laughs> the girl just she's who she thinks she is right even if she's like five feet whatever she's she has such a big personality right you kind of she, and it shows, it shows in my opinion, it shows a lot in the way she talks, in the, even when she's making something, when she has made something and she's talking about it on social media on her page, she, she, she knows what she's talking about, right? And sometimes some people, certain people call it being delusional, they call it delulu, but you have to be delusional sometimes, right? If it's whatever it is they are trying to build, you need to believe in it a lot. You can't be saying that, oh, you are trying to be this and that and you don't even believe it. When you're saying it's safe, this thing is not flowing from your mouth. I remember when I started my YouTube channel, I looked kind of stupid in my opinion to certain people, but I knew what it is that I was going for. I knew what I had in my mind. And I can confidently say that some of those things are kind of pictures for myself at the start of my youtube channel i've started seeing them like coming to manifestation now so if i didn't believe in a dream i would have quit a long time ago i know a lot of people that started off being on youtube as well when i started off being on youtube and they've kind of stopped for whatever reason that it is but because i knew what it was that or what it is that i'm trying to achieve on this platform i cannot afford to not believe in myself even if People around me don't believe in me. You, personally, you have sticked up in yourself to believe in yourself and just keep showing up. Know the value that you're offering and present yourself as such. You can't be offering good quality service to people and be shortchanging yourself or be feeling like people are doing you a favor when they start to kind of underprice you or treat your work a certain type of way. Know the value that you're offering and present yourself as such. I'm not saying that you should not be proud and maybe pompous when it comes to your relationship with your customers, but don't play small to the point that people see that, oh, this person does not know, she does not know her words, so we are going to take advantage of her. You need to present yourself the way you want people to see you and address you, okay? And it comes with a lot of things when it comes to building charisma it comes with like resetting your mind your presentation as well right you need to look the parts that you are trying to show people that you are playing i don't know how to present or I, how to pass this across when it comes to charisma you need to be appearing neat appear clean you're a fashion designer people are coming to your space to maybe consult you and you don't look put together. And when I say put together, I don't mean maybe you are wearing the longest wig in the world and fixing your nails and fixing your lashes. Just look neat and presentable. Also, with your speaking as well, speak confidently. Don't speak like you are afraid to even talk to customers or your customers are intimidating you. Be confident. Okay, so and confidence is also something that I don't think you can go to school of confidence. It's something that you kind of cultivate on and kind of improve on consistently, especially if naturally you are kind of shy and reserved. Confidence is something that you need to practice, practice, practice until it becomes, you know, a part of you. When it comes to charisma, I'm not saying pride. You know, there's a thin line between being charismatic and confident and being proud. Okay, so we need to make sure that we are not crossing the line and moving over to the side of pride and just arrogance. The next soft skill that I have for us is practicing. Okay, practicing is not something that you have to learn. Nobody can teach you how to practice something. It's something that has to come to you naturally. It kind of shows your character. Are you the kind of person that when you learn something you like to 
practice, practice, practice till you, you become good, better, best, or very good at it, right? Practicing aggressively is something that's going to help a lot, especially when it comes to building your skill in whatever field that it is that you are in. And for the sake of today's video, we're talking about fashion design. If you're just starting off, you can't afford to be lazy when it comes to practicing, okay? Practicing ag aggressively is going to help a lot. The next soft skill that I have for us is consistency and improvement. You can't go to school of consistency. You cannot go and learn consistency from a school. It's something that you need to be teaching yourself personally how to be consistent. Even on days when you are tired or frustrated or you feel like ah, this thing that I'm doing, I'm doing it, I've been doing it for so long and it's not giving. As long as you can see or you have a picture in your head of where you see yourself going to, you need to be able to kind of psych yourself consistently to keep showing up till you are able to achieve all that you have basically set out for yourself to achieve improvement as well don't be too comfortable in staying in a place where you're not doing better you're just a local champion and staying small staying in a particular circle consistency and improvement another set of soft skills that i believe we need to basically become very good at in order to attract good quality customers in order to come up with things that are outstanding make a difference in this world of fashion design that we are all trying to break into another set of soft skills that i have for us is experience building okay build experience learn try things oh i've never bidded an outfit in my life but bidding is something i want to do try it it's one day they used to start something okay try it out see how it goes make make mistakes i remember literally when it comes to my bidding skill on here that i share with us on the channel I started everything right in our presence on here on YouTube. When I first started, if you look at like my early days of making bidding videos on the channel and what I, I do now, the difference is clear, right? So don't be afraid to build experience. If it's a case of, oh, I need to work with someone, learn this thing, and then now maybe bring some of the knowledge I've gained from that person into my own business, do what you need to do. But don't be afraid to build experience in whatever field it is they are trying to break into. The next thing I have for us is talking about your work. Don't be the kind of person, I think I'm also guilty of this, right? I don't talk about my work enough or I didn't used to talk about my work enough. For now, I'm not really taking customers. When it comes, I, I see people say, oh, for me, do you offer like private lessons when it comes to bidding? I'm not doing any of those at the moment just because the way my life is set up now, I am not able to do stuff like that. Like a lot of the people that are asking for this service are based in Nigeria. And now that I'm here in this country, the time difference, the amount of stuff that I just have to do in my personal life would just not afford me the opportunity to be able to just teach as of this moment. Maybe in the, in the near future, when things start to become more stable in my life, maybe it's something I'm going to do, but I digress. The point is whatever service or thing that it is they are doing, don't be afraid to talk about it, okay? This is part of where the charisma that we are talking about comes from. Oh, you are sewing. Oh, you are into making headpieces. Talk about it. And I feel like for me, one thing that used to work for me is when it came to like my headpieces, the berets I used to make and the headgears that I used to wear, make, I used to wear them. So when people see it on me, they say, oh, where did you get your berets from? Oh, I made it. I make berets. These are pictures of some of the berets that I've made for people. And they say, oh, make three for me. Make four for me. Make five for me, right? So... Talk about your work, however it's going to work. If it's trying the method that I use for myself, right, by wearing it and hoping that someone asks you where you got it from and they patronize you, whatever it is that I think is going to work for you, try it out and just let people know what you're doing. Nobody will just magically know that you're selling something if you don't talk about it. Another thing I have for us is packaging. Package yourself. I don't know how to say the word packaging in a different way. Package yourself in a way that you want people to see you however you want people to perceive you and perceive your brand perceive the work that you are doing package yourself as such you want people to think you are a luxury brand when they see your name they associate you with luxury package your work as a luxury work don't be expecting people to see you as a luxury brand and you are not packaging yourself as a luxury brand that you want people to take you as okay so however you want people to see you and perceive your brand and just whatever you want to come to people's mind when they think of you and your business, package your brand as such. And the final thing that I have for us is patience, okay? All of these things require patience. They're not things that you can achieve in one week. They're not things that you achieve in 24 hours. They are not things that some of them say, they are not things that you achieve in one year. So patience is the key. Keep showing up one day at a time. For me, 
my mantra is showing up 1% better than I was yesterday. 1% better. 1% better. And before I know it, it's like I've become way better than I used to be, right? So that's 1% better mentality is something that has kind of helped me to just improve in different aspects of things. Like so many different aspects, like so many examples that I can use. I don't hurry myself to arrive at the destination that I'm trying to get to. I always give myself grace and just... I try my best to be patient with myself and just allow things play out however God wants it to play out, right? So after doing all of these things, another thing that I highly recommend is prayer. Whatever you want to see in your life, tell God about it. That's the only person that I can recommend to you people. That's the only thing that's been working for me. Anything that I want in this life, anything that I'm praying and aspiring towards, I'm not afraid to tell my father in heaven, God, do this thing, this is what I want, do it for me. In the fullness of time, let it be fullness of joy over this and that. So prayer and talking to God, asking God to show you, asking God to open your eyes. Because sometimes there are opportunities sitting in front of us. There are ideas sitting in front of us, but we can't just see it. We are looking, but we are not seeing. Ask God to open your eyes to see all that it is that he wants for you per time, per season, whatever season that you are in in your life, whatever God wants you to be doing in that season, Tell him to open your eyes to see it so you don't miss out of when he's pushing you or leading you to do something. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If there's anything that you picked out from this video, whatever stood out for you, feel free to drop it in the comment section. If you also have tips and tricks for us, don't be afraid to drop it in the comment section. If you're yet to like this video, if you enjoyed watching and you've not hit the thumbs up button, that's one of the ways in which you can support me. Please go ahead to hit the thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed, please do well to subscribe subscribe i am hoping and praying that god takes us to 100k in this 2024 in jesus name so please if you're not subscribed do subscribe to the channel share this video with a friend wherever that you think would love this kind of content please share with them i know the tutorials have not been coming consistently the way we want it to come soon 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 it will come thank you guys so much for watching and yeah friends i can't wait to see you all in another video very very soon Bye.